Ah, the forklifts of the future! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 52 Toys Mega Box Power Loader! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here, I'm sorry, so right up front here we have a nice image of the power loader from Aliens, plural, and they have it in its box mode, on this side we have the power loader, on this side we have a mega box, up top here we have the power loader, operator, xenomorph queen, the invincible power loader helps you defeat the xenomorph queen, thank god for that, on the bottom words things caution on the back of the box obligatory product shots things and stuff and stuff and things qr code if you want to scan it go ahead free scan on me you're welcome and we have sad pac-man and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have the power loader from 52 toys from the movie aliens plural, because it's the sequel, and uh, yeah, this is from that iconic scene in the movie, iconic as far as I'm concerned anyway, the iconic scene in the movie where Ripley uses the power loader to fight the Xenomorph Queen, and I love that scene, it's a very cool scene, and I always wanted one of these, I wanted one of the, I want, I want a full-size one that actually works, that I can ride in, you know, like I want one, I really want one, but anyway... <laughs> But here it is in mega box form and pretty cool. I do quite like it. The only thing that's missing as far as I'm concerned is we needed a little Ripley. We need a little Ripley to sit in here. Somebody 3D print me a little Ripley to go in this, please. Somebody, anybody, please. But um, all in all though, pretty nicely done in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the detail. You had a little transparent red light right up top. You got some little... Little antenna here sticking up. You can see some tampographed details in there. You got notice right up in there. Of course, you have like the little padding there for the seat and whatnot. You got like the little, little controls right here as well. The big old grippy jaws with the caution stripes. You got some nice tampographed details throughout. Power loader 2. Caution, numbers, stripage, get some silver in there as well. Moving on down, you have there, danger on the toes. These are danger toes, dangerous toes. PWL, get some more caution stripes. Moving up the back, you can see you got a lot of rubber hoses here on the back. Some more caution. Yeah, all in all. Very, very nicely done. Now, articulation-wise, um, you can open up the uh, the cockpit section here. I can open and close. Uh, the arms here can rotate. Of course, you'll undo the hoses here when you do that, but the arms can rotate, can move forward and back a little bit in and out. You have an elbow joint here, which with good range of movement, you have these working little pistons here, working hydraulics which is quite nice. Um, you have rotation right here, uh, which is more for transformation, but it does rotate. You also have wrist rotation. You have this hinge that allows it to move in and out. Again, you have rotation there. The little clamping jaws can open and close. Um, as far as the legs go, they can move forward that far, back that far, outward a little bit. You got forward and back to set that ball joint itself. Knees. You get under 90 degrees, can bend the other way a whole lot, but that's due to transformation. Um, the feet, they can move up, down, and you have a little bit of ankle tiltage. So there you have that, and for comparison, uh, here it is with your regular alien. And here's the power loader with the queen. So you can see how that works out. You can have them fight and be like, rah, 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 rah. you know, that's how you do. Rah, 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 rah. Rah, rah, rah. You know, things you can do. 
So that is basically it for this mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing we need to do is we need to uh, remove all these hoses here. All this just comes right off. Let's pop right off. What? Parts forming! Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. So we're gonna put these off to the side, and now we can commence. So, first thing we want to do here is we want to open up the uh, cockpit section here. Just bring this up and rotate this 180 like so, and then bring it down. Actually, before you bring it down, you want to bring down these two little, two little antenna here and bring this down. So on double hinge, you want to bring it back and down like so. And that'll just sit right there. Um, the instructions want you to rotate this down. You can leave it up. Really, it doesn't matter. But I'll just do it the way the instructions tell you to do it. Then you take the little red light here up top and just flip that in. Now, once you've done that, you want to untab this section right here. You can just engage this joint here and that will pop it out. And you want to bend this joint now. So it's sitting at pretty much 90 degrees. You can close this back up. Then you're going to take a little handle here. You're just going to rotate it forward. And then this is going to rotate forward like so. And then just rotate the claw back out. And you have a tab that will go into this slot right here. So just angle all this in. And that will tab in right there and sit like that. And second verse, guess what, is just like the first. So just undo that clip. Bring that down. Rotate, slow bit forward, rotate out, rotate in, and then just bring all this in and tab it into place like so. Once you've done that, you can flip up little footrests here, tab the legs together, and make sure you have the feet straight because now you're going to bend the knees forward and then bring the legs up and these two sections here are going to go into these two little clips here. Just a little friction, two little friction clips. And that will just sit in there just like that. Once you do that, you have a tab slot connection right here. You also have a little tab slot connection that's right in there as well. So just bring all that in, tab it in, and tab all that in like so. Hit it all nice and squozen like. And then, for your little grippy hands here, you just kind of angle these in a way so you can rotate them down. And they will basically just sit there, just kind of crossing each other like that. Once you do that, you just take these heel pieces here, rotate them up like so. And there you go. There you have the power loader in its box mode. Good spin too, good spin. But yeah, there it is in its box mode. And again, compresses up beautifully. And yeah, now as far as the hoses go, now this is one instance where I don't think these incorporate into the box mode. The instructions don't say anything about what to do with this after you've taken them off. So I don't know, this could be a case of you just take these off and just leave them to the side. I don't know, maybe there's, maybe actually there's, there's some space right in here. So I guess you could probably maybe kind of stuff these in here. I don't know. There's a lot though, so it might, not, it might not be enough real estate in here to store both of these. I don't know. That I genuinely don't know. Again, the instructions don't tell you what to do with these after you remove them, so there might be nowhere for them to go. I don't know. But, of course, you can bring in your box charger and open it up and take your power loader and just slide right in. Closes up, and now it can charge for the next battle with the Xenomorph Queen. So there you have the power loader, and yeah, another fun figure here from 5-2 Toys. And like I've said with all of these Mega Box and Beast Box figures, these are just so cool, so fun, and I just really, really enjoy this line, so. Yeah, another box for the shelf of a boxy goodness, so. 
There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of 5-2 Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Mega Box Beast Box playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the 5 2 Toys Mega Box Power Loader. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Boom in your face.